Fantastic comedian. You're going to love him. Stephen Witt. Give it up for Stephen Witt. Uh, my name is Stephen Witt, and I am a comedian. <laughs> At least my mum thinks so. <laughs> Um, speaking of mum, I've had a couple of girlfriends. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll tell you about the first date that I went on. Um, it was with a, a young girl from South Auckland, you know, Papakura, that's where I grew up. And uh, she was real cool for, you know, as far as South Auckland girls go. Um, and, uh, you know, it was going quite well. You know, I thought I'd take her up Red Hill and Papakura to uh, watch the sunset. You know, I thought that would be quite nice, you know. So I was there. And, uh, and she was there, so, you know, I was off to quite a good start. And, um, and I was trying to keep it gourmet, you know, I was trying to keep it pretty gourmet, so I had a glass of red wine in one hand and a, um, a mince and cheese pie in the other. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, I looked at her and she looked at me and she was like, <laughs> like that. And then uh, the sunset was beautiful and uh, she looks at me and she goes, <laughs> that sunset's pretty gangster, eh? <laughs> mm. I was like... Yeah, so I just dumped her after that. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty devastated actually. She was really upset, but I just bought her a box of Cody. She was sweet as. <laughs> I was pretty sad. I felt pretty stink about it. Uh, and I just remember going home and, and just uh, looking at some of my positive feedback on Trade Me. <laughs> just things like, you know, excellent trader, great guy, triple A, triple plus. <laughs> So yeah, I grew up in Papakura. It's a bit of a rough neighbourhood actually these days. Um, tell you a little story. One time I was uh, waiting at the lights, not, not in my car, just at the pedestrian crossing. And uh, this guy comes up next to me on his BMX bike and he's waiting there as well, you know, like this, just sitting there. And then uh, this other guy comes up on his BMX bike and he's like, <laughs> pulls up. And then he goes to the guy, hey bro, like that, to this other guy standing next to me. And this guy turns around and he goes, not your bro, cuz. <laughs> Like that, right? And I'm like, like this. And this other guy goes, well, I'm not your cuz, mate. <laughs> like that. And then this other guy goes, well, I'm not your mate, bro. <laughs> and then just as things were starting to get real heated, this lady pulls up in her car, she winds down her window and she goes, don't fight him, he's on pee. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a rough neighbourhood, eh? Hmm. I was in uh, Rotorua the other week. And uh, I can never stand the smell when I go there, right? I'm always like, poh, poh, you know? And I thought, man, why don't they just cut to the chase, just call it patero. <laughs> Stinks, man. Mm. Then I had someone tell me that I was uh, just a little bit, like some of my ideas are just a little bit racist and stuff, and I'm like, nah. I said, it's a little bit like uh, a Where's Wally book, you know, when you're going through Where's Wally and you get to the page where he's in India, okay? And uh, you're looking there and you're like, oh, this will be easy, you know, because Wally's white and everyone else is black. <laughs> and, um, you know, and you're looking for him, you're like, oh, where is he? Oh, you know, and then, uh, and then it turns out, you know, it's not so easy to find him because they've hidden him behind a bowl of curry or, or you know, getting ripped off in a dairy somewhere. <laughs> no, it's half you didn't laugh, you're obviously not racist. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to